Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, you can tell that I'm using a newer, fancier camera because all of a sudden the quality is a lot better. Um, I'm trying out this new camera, so please let me know in your comment below whether you like it, you hate it, whether I should do anything else to improve the quality of my video. I think I've heard some comments about the volume on the video, so hopefully this will help. And I am using, obviously, this fancy camera for some very exciting, very exciting unboxing with you guys today. Um, this is, again, another bag that's not on my wish list. I don't know if I'll ever be able to stick to the wish list and not get tempted by a good deal because it's really, really hard for me, I think. Um, anyways, I mean, we will... Um, I haven't decided, okay, let's just put it that way. I haven't fully decided whether I'm keeping it yet. How about you tell me? I'll show you guys what it is and I'll do some just talking about it, comparison, what it can hold and all that. And you let me know in the comment below whether you think it should be something that I should keep it. Okay, so here is a box and you guys can tell it's not a fancy box because again, it's another item from Essence. And like I said, they just can't stop doing these amazing deals on these bags. And um, I got one, so just open for you. And if you have never never purchased from Essence, kind of this is what you expect when you open the box. You know, it's all packed up, but there's no fancy packaging. I mean, it's fancy in that it's wrapped in paper, but other than that, it doesn't come with a box. It doesn't come with a card. It doesn't tell you who packed your stuff. So different from all the other online boutique, I would say. But because they're like so close, their warehouse is so close to my city, um, I get their items like within a day or two. So I can't really complain um, about that. And they've overall their customer service and return policy has been really really great. They do shipping over for if you're within Canada. I think it's shipping is free for anything above $100, which is on their website, basically the majority of items, I think is over $100. So that shouldn't really be a problem. Okay. So after you unwrap the, all the paper, you guys can tell from the plastic, is a Jacquemus bag again. I am such a fan of the brand now. I um, did my recent unboxing for you guys on Le Bambino and it's just so cute. I love that bag so much. Um, and I just, you know, so happy that I was able to score that. So I then got this version. Dun, 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 dun. It's actually Le Chiquito in Le Moyen. So in the medium size, um, in the white smooth leather. Um, it does come with a strap. I'll show you guys right here. Okay, it's basically the same strap that you would get with your mini Le Chiquito or probably any other Le Chiquito. And it's adjustable, it comes with seven adjustable holes, seven, yeah, seven. Um, and then it just kind of has this metal studs that help you with adjustment. Comes with regular claps with the word Jacques Mousse uh, engraved on it. And here's the bag. And it's literally like identical to the mini version. Um, the only thing is um, it's bigger. And it's white in this case. I will put on the strap for you guys. Haven't really had a chance. I did open the box uh, prior, prior to the video, but I haven't really had a chance to play with it too much. Again, it has this beautiful gold um, Jacques Mousse logo monogram on the ed on the side, and I use this text kind of size of the word to um, figure out whether it's a large or small or medium, so le grand or the moyen or the petit. So, also featuring in today's video is my favorite mini micro bag. It's my mini le chiquito, and look how cute they are side by side. It's like so adorable. And if you follow my channel at all, you guys know I'm obsessed with this bag. Um, I know there's so much 
like bashing and kind of talking about this bag on the on YouTube and how this is not functional. It's not. I still think it's super chic and super cute, and I still wear it often. So I love it so much. That's why I start to look into other models and other um, size of the bag online. And Jacques Mousse, obviously, they're not a brand like Hermes or Chanel or LV uh, or Louis Vuitton because you know they their handbags do go on sale, so they don't obviously retain the values as much. But if you're able to score a bag with a very, very good discount, you should still be able to resell that for a good amount, especially during this time now, because it's so trendy. Um, you might not be able to get rid of it later on if the trend passes. But again, personally, I just think it's so unique and different from all the other handbags that we have on the market right now, that I totally still think it's super cute and worthwhile. I mean, to, at the end of the day, the, the pricing on these bags, I think, are super, super fair because they are leather bags and they are all mostly under $1,000 for sure. Like this one, I, I was able to score for $350 plus tax, which is nothing, okay? It's a, the same amount of a card holder and any SLG using any other brand. This one, I uh, ended up paying for after tax all in, I think just under $700, which is still pretty good, I'd say, for a leather bag. Okay, so a quick comparison, like I said earlier, I do use a little Jacques Mousse words to kind of figure out whether it's a large or small bag because the proportion, the ratio to the words, the body to the words will be different. Um, but in terms of mechanism, it's identical. So I'll show you guys some views of the two bag. So this is a front view. And even the, you can tell the shoulder strap drop, it's about the same. This is the side. Here is the back, exactly the same. I thought the larger version might, might have a back pocket or something, but it doesn't, and this is the other side. And I'll open it up for you guys. It does, I think, the inside is exactly the same again. So the magnetic stuffed. And the difference, so here is the product tag. The difference is it does have a little card slot for you in here, right there. Um, and it's in a very similar fabric to the black one. I'll show you guys right here. So very, very similar um, inside. It is slightly larger. I think a lot of people also have a kind of false expectation that this one would be a lot larger. Um, now I know the Le Grand, the large one, it, it is truly quite big. Like you could actually, it's, it looks almost like a tote size. I've never seen one or purchased one, but it does look quite big. So I think um, they were struggling with the sizes and launched this size last year summer um, to be a medium size between um, the Chiquito line. I personally think it's a good size, but I'm very curious and I want to do it with you guys uh, to see what it can actually hold. So I have this iPhone 10 right here and that does go in fairly easy, but it's like you can tell, it's probably best to be at a diagonal. If you try to fit like flat like this, you can see a little bit of bulging on the on the side, but overall, no no issue. Like if you have a slim iPhone, it does go in fairly easy. Um, hand sanitizer, that fits in no problem. The one thing about this bag though, if you over, if you put in too much stuff, you won't be able to close the flap because on the side, it does shrink in. So if you wanna pack it full, you won't be able to um, close the magnet closure. Okay drop something and then I also have uh, the compact mirror and a lipstick from Chanel yeah. it's getting kind of tight I'll show you guys what the inside look like so definitely your phone well I'll show you guys some mock shots too and I think the distance though, as a crossbody bag, is a little awkward, just because it's mm, it's not as friendly as the mini one, I think. Because, you know, the, the handle part 
sort of sits in a weird position. Um, but if I could make it a bit longer, bear with me, maybe I will cut this part because adjusting the straps on these bags are always a challenge. So I'm going to make it maybe a little bit longer. I think they give it to you as a standard length here. It does feel like someone did play with this length because it looks like it was previously adjusted to other lengths before. So I have a feeling that someone might played with this bag already, but there you go. Even if I make it slightly longer, it's better. What do you guys think? Isn't it so cute? Like it's just so chic and different. And But I think if I were to carry this bag, I'll probably do it more so like just on my arm like this or hold it in my hand. Let's show you guys how it looks like on one shoulder. Now I don't think I love this one more than my mini and I'll show you guys why because this small one it's super light. This, this white one definitely is a lot heavier because there's more leather, there's more hardware. But this small one is really more of a little accessory decor to your outfit. Um, it can hold your keys and your, your cards, but it will not hold basically anything else in here. It will hold a mask if you fold up your mask, um, which was sufficient for me when I used the bag itself. But I just think this is really the cutest proportion to it because it has such a large handle and you know, I just think the mini size is why they got popular and now obviously they have to, like they put it on their necklace, they put it on your earrings, but it's kind of their signature and the mini size is really the one that got this bag so trendy. If you compare the two, you can tell the handle part is not as long or as large compared to the body when you compare to the small one, I think it's more rounded on this one. This one is a bit longer, but it's beautiful. Um, let me know what you think. Do you guys like it when I carry it? For the price point, I feel like I probably gonna keep it anyway, cause it's just, and then I can start my little Le Chiquito collection. So I do like that idea. But again, my Le Bambino is already white. Do I need another white bag? Le Bambino also carries a phone, so Anyways, a lot to think about, but I would really appreciate your help um, and helping me deciding whether I should keep this beautiful bag. And if you have any questions on this bag or it, check out my other videos that I talk about this little piece that I love so much, please do. I will link them down below. And if you haven't already followed um, my Instagram uh, page, I will also put it right here. And please do subscribe and come back for more content. I really appreciate you guys watching the video and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.